Hi, with us today we have Kelsey Griffin from Fort Myers, Florida. She is with the firm Markham Norton Mosteller Wright. Kelsey, welcome. Thank you. Kelsey, uh, you work in forensic accounting, right? I do. Okay, how long have you been at that? I've been with the firm full-time for seven years now, um, but started actually as an intern ten years ago, so three years as an intern and then full-time. Okay, and you've been doing forensic accounting the, the entire time? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, how do you like it? I love it. <laughs> we like to tease our tech team that we definitely have the much cooler job. <laughs> okay, what do you like about it? I like that every day is different. You never know, you never know what you're going to end up doing, um, and I like all the different types of work that we get to do um, so I like the variety okay so it's not routine no and it's always challenging okay so. <laughs> um, can you talk about a little bit about uh, the nature of the firm that you work for and the geographic spread of the kind of jobs sure um, I the firm that I work for is a local firm and we're one of the larger firms in our area accounting firm, accounting firm. yes we're a full service CPA firm and when I say full service we don't do audits or valuations mm -hmm. but we do tax work we do traditional bookkeeping we do a lot of consulting, and then we've got our litigation and forensic team. And that's the department you're working yes. in? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And so we do work. Um, we've got some cases on the east coast of Florida. We sometimes get them as south as Naples, and then we get like Tampa area. But for the most part, it's mostly Lee and Collier counties. So. Okay. All right. Uh, do you tend to work in any particular area of forensic accounting? Yeah, we do. Um, or I. Uh, being one of the youngest members of the team, I kind of support our other our leaders. So we've got um, one associate who heads up our family law practice, um, and then another associate who heads up all the you know non-family law, the business damages, personal injury, wrongful death, um, fraud work, and malpractice defense. So I do, but I help both of those. Okay, great. Uh, can you talk about a couple of interesting projects you've worked on over your career? Yeah, well, my very limited career, but <laughs> um, one of the, when I first started, we were doing a lot of family law work, and um, one of the projects that I really got to take the lead on, um, the there were some it was a short-term marriage and um, there was some you know question as to wife's capacity so that made things a little bit interesting but you know in Florida uh, for equitable distribution you know it's 50 50 in this case um, husband was kind of taking advantage wife's position and so was putting a lot of assets in his name um, and because of the tracing that we were able to do we ended up getting an 85 15 distribution which was awesome because you really got to see how what you were doing That's was important yes yes our yes yes rightfully so because okay. she came in with everything and he came in with nothing um, and that one for other reasons was just crazy because a side issue um, cops came in to do like a mental health check and ended up um, shooting shooting her <laughs> not fatally the cops did oh yeah came in and they somebody said she was armed and so they ended up having to break into the house and it was a that was a whole separate issue it had nothing to do with us but okay. made it a family law case okay, even more but interesting you weren't there at the yeah. time okay <laughs> no. yeah safe and sound in the office yeah okay yeah, so that, that was fa that's probably one of the coolest family law ones I did um, there are plenty of other crazy stories Can you tell us another one that's sure. interesting sure um, more recently was involved with a major embezzlement case major for our area um, but it um, um, we had to go in, and that was neat because I got to participate with the interviews. Um, we had to interview, you know, many different members of their team and start to put the clues together. But it just, the things that you read about in the books, in the movies, and you think, you know, that's not really true, that stuff really happens. <laughs> and so this this was a classic, you know, um, a, a school book fraud example where you've got an AP person embezzling money and, you know, trying to cover the tracks. But we even were able to uncover, you know, emails and instant messages where they're talking about so um, anyway there haven't been any convictions of fraud or anything like that but it would you know with that we were brought in to okay. investigate that. Okay talk about uh, what you did specifically in that project? Yeah we um, well I specifically was part of the interview process so we had to the some of the um, officials in the corporate uh, officials did some of their own kind of fact gathering but then they needed they wanted somebody else you know who could be objective to come in okay, and so, so I, what did you do uh, you interviewed yes. the target yes right? yes yes and some other folks who had who could give us some background okay, so you sat down at a table like here and yes. had a list of questions and yep. I, mean, I didn't formally have a list but I mean we had you had an Rehearsed, yeah, and mentally. But, um, you know, the, some of the, um, you kind of, we wanted to make it as informal as possible, make her as comfortable as possible, yeah. So it was just more of a conversation kind of like this, but obviously okay. we had. 
you specific information we're looking you for. You didn't have him sweating and no. uh, okay. <laughs> no. All right, you're too nice for no, that. No, no. Okay. All right. Um, how did you get interested in forensic accounting in the first place? Um, that's a good question. I actually was always like the engineer math type person. I did a three-year engineering program in high school and thought that's what I wanted to do and then thought it was horribly boring and decided to change my mind. Um, but they always said like accountant, like that was kind of on those aptitude tests, right. that was one that always came up. Um, and so my mom was watching the news one day and they said that forensic accounting is one of the top jobs in like going forward. Okay. And didn't know anything about that, but she's a client of the firm that I currently work for. And so she was talking with the consulting partner there, said, hey, this could be a good fit for my daughter. I got to shadow and I got to meet different members of the, um, in our firm. So I met with someone from tax, consulting and litigation. And once I met with our litigation partner and heard all of her crazy stories, that's when I decided I wanted to do what she did. Okay. <laughs> Sounded much more interesting. Oh, way more okay. Interesting. So engineering's out, tax is out, yeah. and no. so on. Yeah. So no. you landed in forensic accounting. Yes. Never looked back. Never looked back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, from your perspective, and you've got seven years of experience and um, you know some good experience, uh, how do you see the current and future demand for forensic accounting services? I see it um, growing and for a couple of reasons. Um, my boss always likes to joke that we make a living off of everybody else being greedy. <laughs> and I don't see people becoming less greedy. Um, so, and I also think that there's such, um, accounts add value in so many different ways. Um, I, we've got more of the personal skills um, than some of the other players on a, on a team. So I think that we can bring a unique skill set to the table. And I think there's also just human nature. There's, you know, a, a right. yeah, okay. growing need. So. Okay, good, good. Just my two cents. <laughs> if, um, it, you know, again, you're, you're pretty young in the process, much younger than some of the uh, other folks here at the conference. Uh, what traits do you see are important in order to succeed in forensic accounting? Um, I think you've got to be resourceful um, um, as a forensic accountant. I think you've got, I think, Emotional intelligence, as, as you know, kind of colorful as that sounds, is really important because there's so much that um, that's important to the case that you don't. It doesn't necessarily when you're interviewing people, when you're especially family law. The world of family law is so crazy that being able, you really can make a lot of headway when you're building those um, relationships. But I think being resourceful is huge. You don't always get all the information. You know, you got to yeah, you got to make lemons out of what you're able to sort of uh, put. It uh, a puzzle together. Yes. Okay. Yes, sort of a mosaic. You got a little bit here, a little bit there, and then be able to put together a picture out yes, of it. Yes. And I think you've got to be confident. You know, you've got to be a, the account. I think forensic anything, whether you're, you know, litigators, whether you're a forensic CPA, whether you're, um, you know, on the law enforcement side. I mean, you just got to be there. It's very contentious. You know, there's a lot. So you just have to go in and, you know, be confident. Um, and then the other thing I would say is integrity. You know, that's the, the core thing. It doesn't matter how old you are or how much experience you have, right. you have to hold on to that. Professional integrity. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. Other than what we've talked about, do you have any advice for students in forensic accounting? I would say one of my big, because I, I speak to a lot of um, the, our local university, uh, people who are interested in accounting, they'll come in and they shadow. And what I always tell people is to do an internship because that's how I got into it. And that really, um, you get to see things that you, they don't really talk about forensic accounting as much in schools. And so you really get to see it for what it is. And there are some people that think forensic accounting sounds so awesome. And then they get in it and they see kind of the personalities of the attorneys they're working with, maybe the clients they have to deal with. Um, and some people don't like, they think that it sounds really fun, but then they don't like that of structure right. so I my biggest advice is if you think that's what you're interested in then talk to somebody who's doing the job that you think you want right. um, and just yeah get, get a little taste of it okay great thanks this is Kelsey Griffin thanks for being with us Thank you.